Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please, if able, to join in the singing of O Canada by one of our St. Clair College alumna, Elena Holowitz. O Canada, our home and native land, True patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. O oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Please be seated. I'd like to acknowledge our piper, Greg Pearson. <laughs> Interpreters, Kelly Ann LaFlair and Paige Lemery Lindsay. And our Grand Marshals, Justin Fox, Jeff Russo, and Jeremy Roberts. Welcome to the fifth session of the 50th Annual Convocation Ceremony of St. Clair College of Applied Arts and Technology. I am Eva Beatty, professor in the School of Nursing, and it is an honor and pleasure to act as your Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon's program. Before we begin the formal part of this ceremony, I would like to make a few announcements. We are pleased to advise you that Kojoko will be airing this session of convocation on Saturday, July 8th at 7 p.m. and Tuesday, July 11th at 9 p.m. We will also be live streaming this session. Visit www.stclaircollege.ca. Friends and family may come to the front of the stage to take pictures of their graduate. However, we do ask that you don't block the aisleway or staircase. Please set your cell phones to mute during the ceremony. And we ask that graduates remain in their seats until the ceremony is over. I will now introduce the members of the Board of Governors who are with us today. And I would ask that they remain standing, if able, until after the members of the college administration are also announced. Dan Allen, chair elect. Um, Dr. Ken Blanchett, who is also the associate vice president academic and interim chair school of health sciences. Maureen Wickham. And this afternoon's guest speaker, Dr. Snezena. Ninkovich, alumna of Dis Distinction. I would also like to an introduce the members of the college administration. President Patty France, Wasim Habash, Vice President Academic, John Fairley, Vice President, College Communications and Community Relations, and Executive Director, St. Clair College Foundation. Dolph Barsanti, Vice 
President, Student Services and Administration. Ron Segan, Vice President, International Training and Campus Development. Joe Siriani, Vice President, Human Resources. Mark Jones, Chief Financial Officer. Michael Savaji, Associate Vice President, Student Services and Registrar. Karen Gilgore, Associate v Vice President, Employment and Training Services. Dan Rora, Executive Director, Center for Academic Excellence. Linda Watson, Chair, School of Nursing. Ed Morocco, Executive Vice President, Alumni Association. I would now call upon St. Clair College President, Patty France, to provide opening remarks. Thank you, Eva. On behalf of Sinclair College, it is my very great pleasure to welcome the graduates of 2016-17 to this ceremony, and also their family members and their friends. Greetings also to my college colleagues on and off the stage, all of whom have played important roles in bringing today's graduates to this special day in their lives. Among those individuals are a half a dozen members of the Board of Governors who will be leaving us at the end of this month with their terms of office expiring. I and the college expend our deepest gratitude to this year's Chair Dan Wilson, former Chair Vince Marcotte, Community Representatives Tim Berthume and Mila Lucio, Support Staff Representative Ryan Rusage, and our Student Governor Emily Stately. Your service to the board has enhanced the college's quality in all aspects, financial, architecturally, and educationally. Your legacy is St. Clair's excellence. As for the graduates and their guests, as many of you know, 2017 marks St. Clair College's golden anniversary. For 50 years, it has been the college's purpose and honor to provide exceptional post-secondary education and skills training to students preparing them for rewarding careers and to bolster their communities both economically and socially. Given our steadily increasing enrollment of out-of-town and international students, I should say that we're now providing education not only to the citizens of Windsor-Essex and Chatham-Kent, but also to Canada and to the world. Here we are today, a gathering of scholars and their families representing a cross-section of the globe and its cultures. In this very theater, we have a microcosm of a modern day Canada, featuring all of its diversity, vibrancy, openness, opportunity, and promise. That has been worth waiting 50 years to see and to celebrate. Also during the college's 50th year, we are very proud to say that the Sinclair College alumni family will grow to over 100,000 members from St. Clair College's first graduate to today's distinguished group of grads. And looking into the future, I must emphasize that each and every one of our grads is special and memorable to us. You are part of our family of scholars and alumni. And we know that the energy and dedication that you exhibited while in school will be taken out into the community as employees, entrepreneurs, technicians, professionals, and most importantly, as resourceful and caring citizens. You are living embodiments of our half century old academic reputation, and we know you will proudly represent the college in everything you do in your future. We are where we are in part due to the contributions of our alumni, and I have no doubt that you, our newest alumni, will continue to attest to and represent our tradition of excellence. Second, we believe and employers believe that all of our diplomas are worth their weight in gold, even if they are not made of that metal. Coupled with your own innate abilities to work and work ethics, we are confident that the knowledge and skills that St. Clair College has instilled in you will serve you in good stead as you enter and progress through the employment marketplace from an entry level job to a lifelong career. It is also very important to recognize that the graduates have not made his or her educational journey in solitary fashion. 
Over its 50-year history, St. Clair College has employed thousands of administrators, faculty members, and support staff whose sole professional purpose has been to prepare students for success, not to mention the thousands of businesses, industries, institutions, and agencies which have provided integrated work-integrated learning, placements, internships, donations, and scholarships and bursaries to our students. You can multiply all of those numbers tenfold or more when you consider the other supporters of our students, their parents, spouses, family members, and friends. You, the class of 2017, can attest to that, I'm sure, the encouragement, the reassurance, and the support that you have received from those people, your people, have made this day possible. I know you'll be thanking and celebrating with them later individually, but let's show our gratitude to them today, now, collectively, because St. Clair College wants to show its appreciation to them as well. It's not often that mom, dad, your family members, and your friends receive a standing ovation, but it's warranted today. Can I ask the grads to please stand, look around, and try and make, make eye contact with your loved ones, and please join me in a round of applause. Thank you. In addition to presenting diplomas and shaking the graduates' hand, that is truly my favorite part of convocation. One more thing as I wrap up. Every year, the college honors a half a dozen or so alumni who have excelled in their professional lives. They are recognized locally as their annual alumni of distinction and subsequently as St. Clair College's nominees for the Provincial Premier's Award. And annually, they serve as our guest speakers during convocation ceremonies, providing informative and inspirational messages to our newest grad. At this session, you will be hearing shortly from Dr. Snezhana Nikovic. I look forward to hearing her comments, and I look forward to the very real possibility that in today's audience, there may be several future alumni of distinction who will be on this stage in a matter of years. Congratulations to the class of 2017. You are truly golden. Dan Allen, Chair-Elect, Board of Governors, will now deliver greetings from the board. President France, fellow board members, members of administration, faculty, support staff, esteemed guests, parents, relatives, friends, and especially to the 2017 graduates, I am honored to bring greetings on behalf of the St. Clair College Board of Governors. Allow me to extend a very warm welcome to all who have come here today to share in this wonderful celebration of academic achievement. The community commitment to ensuring the success of this college is very evident in those who serve as board members. Let me assure you that each member of the Board of Governors wants you to succeed, to feel good about your learning experience at this college, and to act as an ambassador for St. Clair College as you embark upon your chosen career paths, making a contributions either to this community or beyond this region. We congratulate the parents, families, and friends for supporting these graduates through the many months of studying for tests and exams, preparing for numerous projects, and in some cases, preparing for clinical or work experiences. Our thanks and appreciation is also extended to the members of the individual program faculties who have mentored, advised, and presented course materials in such a way as to inspire these graduates here today as they celebrate the culmination of their hard work and dedication to their studies. The Board of Governors also thanks the members of support staff and administration who work behind the scenes to make this day possible. So on behalf of the St. Clair Board of Governors, I congratulate you, the 2017 graduates. Be proud of your success and congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. I would 
like to now reintroduce John Fairley, Vice President, College Communications and Community Relations, who will introduce our guest speaker. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Shnezna Ninkovich started her educational journey in the Medical Laboratory Technician Program here at St. Clair College. Dr. Ninkovich has now been an emergency physician at Windsor Regional Hospital for nine years, while also acting as the ER's medical director. Her desire to help others can be traced back to her time here at St. Clair College. She has, was introduced to the world of healthcare with, while she was enrolled in our medical laboratory technology program. It was the practical, hands-on training, which is what other students only read about, which had the tremendous impact on her medical career today. It was during her college placement she realized she wanted to give up the confines of the lab for the fast-paced world of the emergency room. She loved visiting the ER and knew that, 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 and she knew that was where she belonged. Shnezna continued uh, her path of education at the University of Windsor, McMaster, and Western University. Locally, she found herself under the guidance of local physician, Dr. Paul Zeter, for whom she says she owes a great deal of gratitude for the wealth and knowledge he passed on to her. Now an ER physician, Dr. Ninkovich has played an integral role in the formation of the City of Roses Community Emergency Medicine Conference. Heading into its fifth year, the event brings more than 350 medical professionals from across the globe to Windsor to discuss the latest medical innovations. Her dedication to her community doesn't stop there. She also takes part in annual fundraising efforts for the Hiatus House, the Canadian Cancer Society, and several other local charities. Please welcome to our stage one of our 2017 Alumni Distinction honorees, Dr. Shnezna Ninkovich. Thank you, John. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by extending my thanks to Presidents France, the members of the Board of Governors, the college faculty and staff, and the graduating student body for allowing me the opportunity to address the graduating class of 2017. As a former graduate of St. Clair College, it is an honor to be here today and to have the humble opportunity to speak directly to the graduating members of St. Clair College's School of Health Sciences and School of Nursing. Congratulations to all of you for making it here today. I can distinctly recall being in your shoes 16 years ago as a graduate of the Medical Laboratory Technology Program. I sat in your chair, my family in attendance, proud of my achievements and hard work, along with my fellow classmates who had completed the same long road. I was excited to enter the real world and to apply the skills that I had acquired during my post-secondary education to, the career, to a career in healthcare. I didn't foresee my final destination at that time, but I knew my time at St. Clair College had prepared me for a successful future ahead. I ultimately became an emergency room physician, but this was an evolving process for me. I didn't necessarily know at the time that I would be standing in this position today when I first started my education in the field of healthcare. I feel very fortunate to have a position in our healthcare system where I can make a positive impact on the lives of the patients I have the privilege to see every day. I work on the front lines of medicine. I never know the challenges I will face in a shift or what type of problems I'll be asked to solve. I work on a multidisciplinary team with many allied health professionals to deliver high quality medical care to my community. My work is rewarding and exciting. It's challenging. It's scary at times, but ultimately it's fulfilling. Admittedly, I wouldn't have it any other way at this point in my career. So my wish for the individuals of the graduating class is for you to have the same love of your career and your work that I've been lucky enough to acquire over time. You must know that what you will do will matter. Think about that. What you do, things that may be no big deal to you on a regular basis, will matter. They will affect people's lives through their healthcare outcomes. You will have a daily impact on people's lives when they are most vulnerable. I would like to give you a few words of advice today and a short list of things to consider that I hope will help you in these upcoming years of professional development. 
Number one, acknowledge your social supports. Your loved ones sitting proudly here today deserve your acknowledgement of their support. Don't forget what they've done for you thus far. And don't hesitate to turn to them during work difficulties or stressors. A career in healthcare is a noble career, but can be very stressful and difficult at times. Be mindful of your work and life balances. Be willing to see your limitations and acknowledge that you are worthy of their help. Number two, be reflective. Take time to reflect on what you want in your career. Do you like what you're doing? Do you feel fulfilled? Is there room for you to grow further? You're not fixed to any job. The diploma you've acquired at St. Clair College reflects the skills that you have gained that will allow you to su succeed in a diverse and evolving work environment. But don't be afraid to explore other options. Number three, be proactive. Be open in your f uh, to change in your field. Look for areas of improvement, ways to make what you do safer, more efficient, and more beneficial to the people you will care for. Number four, be an advocate. Advocate for patient safety. Advocate for a safe work environment. Get involved in workplace committees. Drive changes in your field of practice. Empower yourself to make your work environment the best possible in your field. Number five, be a mentor. In a few years from now, you won't be the newbie anymore. Consider that. Consider the impact that your teachers and your workplace mentors have made on you. Consider taking on that role on behalf of your future colleagues. Develop your teaching and mentoring skills through ongoing pro professional development. Give your time to help others succeed as you will have done. Number six, be innovative. Everything changes, everything will evolve. How we do things will be dramatically different 20 years from now. So don't be afraid to think outside of the box. Use the skills that you have today for work today, but don't be afraid to move forward and evolve with the times. These last several years have taught you how to learn, and this will be an ongoing lifelong process. So don't be afraid to build on the foundations of what you have established with your education thus far. And lastly, be excited. There's a world of opportunity out there for you, and you can find your dream career. St. Clair College has helped you develop your skills and has given you the knowledge you need to be successful in your areas of interest. Be excited because your future self begins today. So in conclusion, I wish you the best on your future endeavors. I want you to know that I, your family, your friends, your professors, and your mentors are proud of your hard work and your accomplishments. You have a bright future ahead of you, so embrace your opportunities, reflect on your gains and your losses, and pursue your career of your dreams. It all starts here and today. So once again, congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you. I would like to now reintroduce Dr. Ken Blanchett, Associate Vice President, Academic, and Interim Chair, School of Health Sciences. Dr. Ninkovich, on behalf of the graduating class and the faculty and the administration for St. Clark College, we'd like to thank you for your words of wisdom to the students. Um, and for the students, think about the words that were presented to you today. What an inspiration that you can achieve anything if you put your love for caring for people and hard work into it. And be mindful of the message that she provided to you. Be thankful. Keep your mind sharp. Dream big. Your, keep your heart open to those that you serve. And you will make a difference because it matters. So on behalf of the class, Dr. Minkovich, thank you very much for your words of wisdom. I would like to reintroduce Vice President of Academic, Wasima Bosch, to acknowledge our award winners. Good afternoon, everyone. The Faculty Academic Award is designed to recognize a graduating student in each program, part-time or full-time, who has best demonstrated academic excellence. The Student Leadership Award recognizes the graduating student in each program, again, full or part-time, who best combines academic achievement and leadership. 
Would the recipients of the Faculty Academic Award and the Student Leadership Award please stand so that we may recognize your accomplishment. Great job. Graduates, congratulations on receiving your diplomas or certificates today. Convocation is the formal recognition of your achievements. You have worked very hard, so celebrate this accomplishment. It is most deserving. There is one other group here today that also deserve to be recognized. These are the remarkable, dedicated, hardworking faculty here at St. Clair College who have contributed to your success. Graduates, I would ask that you please join me in a standing ovation to thank and recognize the faculty for their, their support and contributions to their success. Thank you. For our award winners who were unable to attend last week's banquet, you may pick up your awards at the table set up in the Alumni Skyline room following convocation. And also, the pictures of the, from the awards banquet may be found on the Alumni Facebook page. We have come to the formal part of the ceremony where the diplomas, certificates, and degrees will be awarded and become official documents of the college. Would the graduates please stand, if able. I would like to call upon President France and Associate Vice President, Student Services and Registrar, Michael Savaji, to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone. Madam President, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for diplomas, certificates, and degrees by successfully completing curricula offered by several divisions of St. Clair College. They have been recommended by the faculty to be, award to be awarded diplomas in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of St. Clair College, I do hereby confer on your respective diplomas, certificates, and degrees with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Madam President, on behalf of the graduates not present, I request that you confer the diplomas, certificates, and degrees in absentia. I so do. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, during the next part of the program, we will present the graduates individually to the Board of Governors to receive congratulations from them and to President France, who will present a lira pipe to each graduate. While the first of our graduates are making their way to the stage, I would like to tell you a little about the lira pipe that each graduate will be receiving. As each graduate receives congratulations from the Board of Governors and the President, a lira pipe will be draped over the graduate's left shoulder to signify acceptance into the community of St. Clair College graduates. The lira pipe is a band of green velvet edged with gold braid trimmed with four tassels, representing the four major areas in the St. Clair community the counties of Essex and Kent, and the cities of Windsor and Chatham. The lyric pipe is a modification of originating in the 15th century Europe, in the age of the great artists, scholars, and explorers of the Renaissance. Today, it symbolizes recognition of an individual who is now prepared to assume a responsible and creative role in the community. I would now like to call upon Dr. Ken Blanchett, Associate Vice President Academic and Interim Chair, School of Health Sciences.
Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduates for diplomas, certificates, and degrees in the School of Health Sciences. Professor Charlene Napolitano will read the names of the graduates from the Chemical Dependency Counseling and Dental Hygiene Programs, and Professor Leslie Rebner will assist the President with the presentation of the Lyra Pipes. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Chemical Dependency Counseling Program. Jocelyn Malosh. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Dental Hygiene Program. Brandy Bulow. Nicholas Booksaw. <laughs> Kendra Kapasikic. Jillian Klanikin. Chelsea Kara. Kayla Crow. Karina DuPont. Puneet Dillon. Amanda Borge. Shayna Giluli. <laughs> Samantha Gilbo. Rachel Gunner. Camille Handrashak. Michelle Hernandez. Melissa Hua. <laughs> Lindsay Johnson. <laughs> Fran Kawang. <laughs> I apologize, I'm sorry, Erica Kawan. Alyssa Lashin. <laughs> Brianne Languaz. <laughs> Sarah 
Cindy Lee. Sarah Mazzali. Kimberly McAvoy. Francesca Melito. Noor Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Jenna Pazaban. <laughs> Tanisha Ross. Carolyn Turton. <laughs> Kyle Yuzinski. <laughs> Kayla Wilson. Mackenzie Winter. <laughs> Professor Jody Delisle will read the names of the graduates from the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program, and Professor Christine Gardeen and Patty Berthume will assist the president with the presentation of the Lyra Pipes. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. Caitlin Bell. Brooke Bevan. Jill Jacob, Jill Bishop, I'm sorry, Jacqueline Dobson. Anna Fleming. Danielle Grondon. Jackie Menard. Caitlin Schnur. <laughs> Victoria Van Hyp.
Professor Neil Pettit will read the names of the graduates from the Fitness and Health Promotion Program, and Professor Deborah Ivey will, read, will assist the president in the presentation of the Lira Pipes. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Fitness and Health Promotion Program. Carol Crooks. Austin Dennis. Tammy Dent. Ariel Domena. Claudio De Stefano. Kylie Farmer. <laughs> Dylan Gervais. Chelsea Kwiatkowski. Professor Jan Maxwell will read the names of the graduates from the Medical Laboratory Science Program, and Professor Jessica Lacoste will assist the president with the presentation of the Lyra Pipes. I have the honor and privilege to present the graduates from the Medical Laboratory Science Program. Amanda Cameron. Diana Muhammad. <laughs> Eric Pinchanine. <laughs> Irana Bakanu. Jessica Langford. <laughs> Jordan Weatherby. <laughs> Carrie Stockwell. Madison Nesbitt. <laughs> Megan 
McKenzie. Mohammed Ahmed. <laughs> Musarat Mahmud. Nicole Lansdell. <laughs> Olivia Whaley. Rochelle Wilson. <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin. Tabitha Donseith. <laughs> Winston Thompson. Professor John Lazaline will read the names of the graduates from the paramedic program, and Professor Ryan Cloutier will assist the president with the presentation of the Lyra Pipes. I have the honor and the privilege of presenting to you the graduates of the paramedic program. Yeah. Phil Bayshard. Patrick Bishisco. <laughs> Zachary Brown. Carmen Chioffi. Chris Diedzik. Jay Hansen. Mike Hetherington. Christine Iskender. Thank you. 
Nathan John. Jeffrey Caffrere. <laughs> Amanda McCartan. Colin Rundle. <laughs> Matthew Temporal. And Michael Trepanier. <laughs> Professor Wendy Foote will read the names of the graduates from the Respiratory Therapy Program, and Professor Connie Sivier will assist the president with the presentation of the Lear Pipes. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of the Respiratory Therapy Program. Victoria Bechard. <laughs> Amy Cameron. Justin Danilon. <laughs> Casey Davies Coquette. Sama El Mosri. <laughs> Ennis Gemrawi. Samantha Joyce. <laughs> Jenna Lesbrant.
Mohammed Rahman. Sheldane Stone Howard. <laughs> Professor Shelley Denemy will read the names of the graduates from the Veterinary Technician Program, and Professor Monica Tai will assist the president with the presentation of the Lira Pipes. I have the great honor to present the graduates in the Veterinary Technician Program. Sharice Betta. Congratulations, Judy. <laughs> Jesse Chu. Kendra Kuhlman. <laughs> Sabrina DaCosta. Sabrina is also the recipient of the Elenco Award for Clinical Excellence and the Ontario Veterinary Medical Association Award. Amy De Rosa. <laughs> Sarah Dupee. Zachary George. Haley Gulen. Caitlin Clausen. <laughs> Caitlin is also the uh, recipient of the Dr. Dan Lonke Mariel Award for Clinical Excellence in Radiography and the Penny Rive Award for Clinical Excellence Year One. <laughs> Catherine Kozlowski. Rebecca Lazarus. Rebecca is a recipient of the Advantix Animal Health Award for Proficiency in Laboratory Procedures. What does that mean? <laughs> Caitlin Maserell. Rebecca Myring. Woo! 
Rebecca is also the recipient of the Class of 1997 Animal Welfare Award. <laughs> Brianna Morley. Natasha Rodriguez. Woo! Kristen Stokes. Megan Thompson. <laughs> Megan is also the recipient of the Essex County Veterinary Association Award. <laughs> Melissa Van Skyke. Melissa is also the recipient of the Janet Tweet Royal Canin Veterinary Diet Award of Merit. <laughs> Courtney Van Ziegelar. Joan Walsh. Joan has been awarded the Luke Thompson Clinical Pathology Award. Anna Woodward. This concludes the graduates in the School of Health Sciences. I would like to now call upon Linda Watson, Chair, School of Nursing. Members of the Board of Governors, on the recommendation of our teaching faculty, it is my pleasure to present to you the graduates for diplomas, certificates, and degrees in the School of Nursing. Professor Catherine Nansen will read the names of the graduates from the Personal Support Worker Program. Professor Nicole Lapointe will assist the President with the presentation of the Lear Pipes. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Personal Support Worker Program. Renee Allen. Erica Anderson. Kaylin Bannon. Angelo Chardello. Sierra Coates.
Francesca Esposito. Vanessa Froggett. <laughs> Crystal Godden. Crystal Green. <laughs> Josephine Jing. Lisa Lozon. <laughs> Shimonia Lewis. Kelly McDonald. <laughs> Brittany Mantha. Matt Marchand. Sarah Milburn. Right Soul Polaris. <laughs> Jessica Quenville. Mandy Sales. <laughs> Ashley Schrader. Professor Brian Fitzgerald will read the names of the graduates from the Pre-Health Science Program. Professor Joanna Pitcher will assist the President with the presentation of the Lear Pipes. I have the honor to present the graduates in the Pre-Health Sciences Program. 
Yasmin Bolt. Mohammed Haq. <laughs> Brianne Pratt. Anna Sarno. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the conferring of diplomas and certificates. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Ed Morocco, Executive Vice President of the Alumni Association Board of Directors. Well, almost here, it's almost done. Congratulations, everyone. To President France, members of the Board of Governors, faculty and staff of the college, graduating students, family and friends. Today, your many hours of classes, studying, training, and projects have paid off. Today, you are a graduate of St. Clair College. You are now part of, of an exclusive club of 100,000 fellow St. Clair College alumni. This relationship is a valuable one. As our newest members, you share your alumni status with a network of successful individuals who once sat right where you are today. We hope that as lifelong learners, you remember that St. Clair College is always here for you. Your alumni association works hard to sponsor several events in the community. It's our sincere hope that when you see the St. Clair College alumni logo, you look back at your time at college with pride. Follow us and add us on Twitter. <laughs> why, why does everyone laugh when I say that? I'm an old guy, but I know what Twitter is. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Visit our website at stclaircollegealumni.com to enter to win free tickets to upcoming events and to update your contact information with us. Staying connected is one way to use the valuable resources that the Alumni Association has made available to you. You are now part of the St. Clair College alumni family and we are invested in your success. We are here to support you through the trials and tribulations of finding what it is that makes you happy. In the words of one of the world's greatest leaders, Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. And nothing is impossible. You're very well prepared. It's our pleasure to join you with your family and friends and the rest of the St. Clair College family in wishing you all the best in years to come. Congratulations to our 50th graduating class, the class of 2017. <laughs> audience please rise if able for the closing reflection I would now call upon Dan Rara please join me in this closing reflection together we ask that all our graduates be filled with joy and peace may they have success and happiness throughout the years may they bring honor and wisdom to their own lives, to their families, to their communities, and to our country. 
and may they be filled with the desire to learn new things throughout their lives. We ask this according to the terms of our individual faiths. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the fifth session of the 50th annual Convocation of St. Clair College. We ask that the audience please remain seated until the faculty and graduates have left the Convocation Hall. Following Convocation, graduates and guests are invited to an informal reception in the Alumni Skyline Room, located directly across the hall from the Chrysler Theatre doors. Compliments of St. Clair College Alumni Association. Congratulations, class of 2017. Prior to attending St. Clair College, I obtained a degree in Business Administration at the University of Windsor. At St. Clair, I earned a diploma in Public Relations. In the PR program, you're required to do two internships. I did both mine at the casino. My internships turned into a job, and I was hired even before graduating. I now work at a world-renowned venue that attracts the biggest superstars. It's so exciting to be a part of this. St. Clair College provided me the opportunity to put my knowledge and skills to use in the real world, which turned into a real job. I definitely feel like I am more marketable and employable because I have both a university degree and a college diploma. After high school, I got my degree in human kinetics from the University of Windsor. I was always interested in the human body, but then I realized I really wanted a career combining biology and helping people, so I knew nursing was my calling. I chose to go back to St. Clair College doing the Collaborative Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program that exists between St. Clair College and the University of Windsor. At St. Clair, I had different placements in hospitals and different health facilities. I was able to do everything from helping with the birth of twins to helping save somebody's life. One thing I love about the nursing degree program is I get to spend two years at the college where there are smaller class sizes. The instructors at St. Clair know your name and you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one time. It's really great how St. Clair College partners with the University of Windsor to provide this great opportunity for studying to become a nurse. I started my post-secondary journey at St. Clair College studying journalism at the Mediaplex. The program was amazing. We were able to train in a state-of-the-art facility using cutting-edge equipment and technology, and all of the faculty are media professionals. After earning my diploma at St. Clair, I went on to obtain my degree at Griffith University in Australia. They have a transfer agreement with St. Clair, so I was able to fast-track my journalism degree, majoring in public relations and marketing. It was a life-changing experience. Now, I'm working for a wonderful local charity, doing what I was trained to do, public relations, and I love it. Because of St. Clair, I was able to get my diploma and degree in just three and a half years and I got to study and live across the world. When I was in my final years of high school, I began to put some real thought into my career. What I knew for sure was that I was ready to work. I wanted to get my hands dirty and be out in the field. I realized that I was interested in machining. I love working with equipment and machinery, and I especially love working with my hands. I started an apprenticeship at a local automation company while I was still in high school through the OYAP program. Here, I'm getting experience while I'm learning and getting paid. Then I'll be doing this while I'm taking classes at St. Clair in their apprenticeship program. I love the fact that I'm earning while I'm learning. I'm learning these specific skills in the best way for me, on the job. I just know that apprenticeship was the right path for me and I am so happy with what I'm doing. In the end, I'll become a certified general machinist and my dream will become a reality. We've been around for 50 years. What courses have we not offered in the past? 
okay? You have four options. Motorcycle training, shooting range, ice fishing, or horse grooming. Shooting range. Shooting range. I'm gonna go with shooting range. Incorrect! Oh. We did. We used to have a shooting range <laughs> in the basement, but we never had ice fishing. I thought with a little pond out there that they might have had ice fishing. Guess not. I'm gonna have to agree with him. The shooting range sounds kind of cool, and I thought I would have known about it if they did it. Yeah, we did have a shooting range. St. Clair's original library was destroyed in 1973. Was it destroyed by a hurricane, a raging fire, wild dogs, or hippie protesters? Hippie protesters. Hurricane. I'm going to go with a raging fire because I don't think there is wild dogs, so... As much as I want to believe wild dogs, I think a raging fire uh, is most accurate. <laughs> you are correct. It was a raging fire. Uh, 20,000 books were destroyed and $600,000 in damage. In the 1970s, St. Clair was famous for hosting big-time musical acts at Griffin Hollow. Which one of these artists did not perform there? B.B. King, Bob Seger, Buddy Holly, or Burton Cummings? I don't know who any of them are except for Bob Seger, so I'm just going to go with that one. <laughs> Have you guys heard of all these artists? <laughs> Three of them. I've heard Don talk about them because he's really into the old timers. So. No, I've never heard of any of them. All of them performed here except Buddy Holly because Buddy Holly died in 1959. Why was the St. Clair Pond originally built? Was it to store sewage overflow for aesthetics or to farm trout for the college's biology program? I'm gonna go with the functionality and I'm gonna pick the trout. I'm gonna just go with him. To farm trout, that would be really neat. I'm gonna have to say to farm trout. Sounds like a smart answer. Yeah, I agree with her. To farm trout for yeah. the college biology, biology program. Biology program. Yeah. Farming trout. Okay, the real answer is aesthetics. Oh, it was built happen. just to look good <laughs> and to skate on. I've skated on it before. There you go. Okay. Have you ever seen any trout in there? Not one. It would be nice, though, if we farmed trout, though, eh? Right? Like, that would be really cool and be, like, our own little, like, ecosystem. Exactly like the, the stray cats. Or, yeah. They could feed off each other. Well, one would feed on the other, not, not the other way around. Okay. What was the original name of the St. Clair Center for the Arts? Was it the St. Clair School of Hard Knocks, the Cleary International Center, the Joe D'Angelo Center, or the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. The Joe D'Angelo Center? The Joe D'Angelo Center? The Joe D'Angelo Center. Xavier School of Gifted Youngsters? I don't know. No, that's actually the school the X-Men go to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So, it's actually the Cleary International Center. Okay. okay. Oh, most of them are mutants. Yeah. <laughs> Before St. Clair was founded in 1967, the school went by a different name, okay? It was not called St. Clair College. The original campus went by W-O-I-T. So, the question is, what does it stand for? The Western Ontario Institute of Technology, the Windsor Organization of International Trade, or the Wax Museum of Identical Twins? The Windsor Organization of International Trade. The Windsor Organization of International Trade. Windsor Organization of International Trade. Okay. Yeah, I also guess that. It's actually the Western Ontario Institute of Technology. So you guys never thought it was the Wax oh, Museum no, of Identical no. Twins? It Not can't be the Wax yeah. Museum. Yeah. Come on, no way. Okay. What year did the bus stop replace the stable for the horse and carriage used for public transportation. Was it 1967, 1983, or 1996? It's got the lowest year. 67. 67. I want to say 67. 1996, yeah. 83. 67. 83 as well. 1983? Okay, the truth is we never had public transportation with a horse and carriage. It was always just the bus. It seems silly now. Look. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, well, we got you, Jeff, and didn't we? Yeah, you did. We should bring it back. We should have a horse and a carriage. I would appreciate that. I like horses. Okay. What do you think? I'd pay for a ride. Yeah, yeah, I'd pay for a ride. Maybe it's something to think about for the next year, eh? Next year's budget. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Here at St. Clair, we're more than just a college. We're about the full student experience. When you begin your journey at St. Clair, there are a number of exciting orientation events to celebrate your new start. And there's fun events held on campus throughout the year, like our annual Pig Fest, Reaper's Realm, the annual Polar Plunge, our Technicolor Dreams Paint Party, or our Cutting Edge Fashion Show. And each semester, St. Clair organizes fun activities and events, like Zoo to You or Yoga, to improve mental health and provide an outlet to unwind. It's about engaging with students, connecting with one another, and having a good time. At Thames Campus, students can enjoy recent renovations that have revamped the entire student experience. 
Highlights of these changes include expansion of the cafeteria, study areas, meeting rooms, and a new patio space. At our main campus in Windsor, an amazing new student center is being constructed. It'll host some of these events and be a space where you can come together to study or just chill. No matter which campus you're attending, our student residence is truly a home away from home. Residence is a space that promotes your personal and academic growth and an educational experience that goes beyond the classroom. It's a social adventure where you'll learn life skills and flourish as an individual. And whether you're living in residence or not, there are other ways to expand your involvement. Join one of our many clubs, like our Concrete Canoe Club or the Firefighters Club. You can also become a class rep or get involved with student council. And of course you'll need some food to fuel your studies. If you're on the go, there's Capri Pizza, Subway, Tim Hortons and more. Or if you have more time, there's Griff's, a pub style hangout, or Eatery 101, featuring fine dining cuisine at affordable prices. There's something to please everyone's palate. In Chatham, St. Clair's Thames Arena holds open ice times throughout the year and hosts exciting broom ball and ice hockey tournaments. And when you want to relax and unwind, check out one of our many serene scenes on campus. Eat your lunch in one of our gazebos. Take a walk through one of our green spaces, like our lush tropical greenhouse, or sit by the pond and reflect. But in the winter time, our pond freezes over and becomes an ice rink. Check it out for a leisurely skate, or gear up and participate in our annual hockey game. St. Clair College also offers sports and athletic opportunities. These enrich your life as a student. Every full-time student gets a free gym membership at the state-of-the-art Sportsplex in Windsor or the Healthplex in Chatham. Or sign up for our membership to enjoy a refreshing dip in our pool here at Windsor's main campus. And if you're looking to have fun, sign up for one of our many intramural sports. And don't forget, we have a wide range of varsity sports teams. And student-athletes earn a $1,250 scholarship per semester for each sport they play. St. Clair College also hosts a number of national tournaments where you can cheer on your fellow students and enjoy a party like no other. At St. Clair College, you're part of a culture, a community, and, and that, that is really cool. Go Saints, go! go.